Good morning. How you doing? This is Dilio T2K coming to you with another live broadcast. Well, not exactly live, but it is a video that you are watching in real time. But it's a pre-recorded video. Sorry. I just want to give everybody a shout out who came out to my first YouTube live stream last night. Um, it was cool. We're going to experiment with Twitch. So be sure to follow me on there. So stay tuned for updates on this channel as we try to figure out what format is best to start doing live streams again in which we can talk about making music and maybe some producer secrets that I may have so watch out for that so moving forward today's video is about uh, the importance of uh, weight loss in any industry uh, particularly in the music industry um, I spoke with many friends about the challenges that comes with uh, being of weight and trying to make it in, in the music industry or any industry um, I just stayed out. I'll just start off saying it's like this. I've been in I've been in work environments where I've noticed the attitude and respect level be different towards those who were of larger weight versus the ones who were skinnier. Now this could be a lot of things that there could be a lot of factors involved. First of all, maybe the the skinnier person is more confident, or or maybe the bigger persons are less confident, or the person in charge respects more the people who are skinnier because they're skinnier themselves well they weren't that quite that skinny but there was a different dynamic and even amongst the the co-workers in that environment um the people who were skinnier were taken more seriously and their words were heated more than those who were larger and the, 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 pe the people who are larger who had something to say were more glossed over and more like oh okay whatever you know huh? You know, and wasn't really taken very seriously, and I've noticed that over the years, and even and and you know, it's a it's a weight driven world, an image a driven world. I'll be I'll be the first to tell you that image is everything when it comes to music. Um, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's how it should be, but I believe that's how it is. You know, I I have to wonder if I was a skinnier guy, would I be getting more shares? Would I be getting more views? Uh, would there be more female viewers in my analytics? Because just about 99% of y'all who watch my videos are guys. So I wonder about these things. And at the same time, in the work industry, um, as an employer, less likely to hire you because of you being overweight, you know, and all these other factors, you know, are, are people of the opposite sex, the heavier you are, the more likely you are to attract someone who is overweight, you know. And I've seen exceptions and stuff like that's the rule. But, you know, I really do feel that there is a weight schism going on in the world. You know, I feel that, you know, my, James Brown says, says it's a man's world. I say it's a skinny man's world. I believe that a lot of people who are not overweight um, and encounter a lot more success. And I'm just talking about how it is. I'm not talking about what it's right or wrong here. I'm just talking about what I believe how things are. And I'm addressing the facts. Now, if you're skinny, I'm not trying to, to, to say you don't have problems. If you're skinny, I'm not trying to say you don't have trouble finding clothes that fit. If you're skinny, I'm not saying that people look at you differently because of that. But what I'm addressing is those who are overweight. I'm addressing the challenges of once going to an old Navy and finding your size only to later find out as the years go by and you gain weight that you can't go there and shop anymore. Or, you know, or the, the different responses you get from your videos. I mean, I'll be the first to tell you that I know that the first things that was attacked when I really blew up on YouTube back in 08 was my race and my weight. Those are the two things. One I can change, one I can't change. So, you know, it plays a role. And then even a lot of people who I look up to or you kind of used to look up to lost weight. And I'll give you some examples of, of people who have lost weight in the music industry because this is more about a music making channel and I'm an artist and I'm trying to promote music, but also have a dialogue with other people who are into music or, or have thoughts about it, you know, and, you know, for instance, Jasmine Sullivan, she lost weight and, you know, and, and, you know, another guy said, well, there's a lot of big people who make it in the industry. Well, we'll talk about that, but, you know, we got Jasmine Sullivan, she lost weight. Ruben Stutter, he lost weight. You know, I believe that Big Papa was an exception to the rule because there wasn't a lot. The majority of rappers that are out there, even today, are not overweight. I mean, just look at Young Thug. He's like skin and bones. He's like 
a really skinny guy. You know, big pun. He's not even alive anymore. Fat Joe lost the weight. Timbaland, he got swole. Missy Elliott, she lost the weight, even though I like her music back more back when she was bigger. Rick Ross lost the weight. There's a pattern going on of, of, of people who are of larger size in the music industry who are successful losing weight. So I believe it's up to me to do the same thing. Um, and, you know, because they say, oh, but there's an exception. Well, I mean, just look at the movie industry. I'll talk about the music industry. The music industry has mostly really attractive, not really overweight people. And if they're overweight, I mean, just, just look at your mind and think about the overweight people in the movie industry. And what roles do they play? They're comedy. They are comedic uh, acts. Um, I can't even name them. That's how bad it is. I can't even name the overweight acts who are who are deferred. Okay, Zach Galifianakis, right? Uh, hangover. Okay, the guy is overweight. He's funny. He's funny. Overweight. Always doing comedic roles. Now one could say, well, that's because he's he's a comedian. He's good at that stuff. Okay. But at the same time, how come no one's really ever given him a chance to do a serious role? Maybe he doesn't want to do a serious role, but the pattern still remains. Big guy, comedy, don't take him seriously. Big guy, comedy, don't take him seriously. I think this is a pattern that goes on. Um, like, again, you know, even big, the Punisher. Last time I saw him, he was walking with a cane. Really cool guy. I didn't really get to meet him. I wanted to meet him so bad, but I didn't really get to meet him. I think he's an awesome guy. Um, you know, so weight plays a huge role. I'm very sensitive to, uh, to that. I've, I've seen how people approach people. I've seen, I know what it means to not be able to shop and get the exact clothes you want to get and stuff like that. You know, so I'm, I'm making changes. I'm doing things about that. Um, aside from the health issues, there's, there's health issues that come along with being weight. And, and I'm not saying there's none that, that come with being skinny. I'm just addressing the, the, the being of weight spectrum, because that's where I'm at. I'm a big guy. I'm, I know I'm overweight. I'll be the first to tell you that, hey, I'm doing something about that. That's my personal choice. And there's also health issues that come along with it, which is why I believe Fat Joe lost the weight, why Rick Ross lost the weight. It was health reasons. It's a skinny man's world, in my opinion. And uh, I'm sticking to it. I don't take too much of your time. I got to go to work. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more updates. Um, be sure to subscribe, share, comment. Let's keep the dialogue going on. Make sure you check out some other my other my other vlog videos and even some of my musical stuff. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.